Celebrating Women's History on Wish TV is brought to you by Eskenazi Health and Moss Roofing. The Indiana University women's basketball season is over, but for the program, the momentum made this year in women's sports is just the start. So I sat down with head coach Terry Morin for more on this history-making season. At Indiana University, from the campus to the court, there's a buzz in Bloomington. Because here, basketball is in our blood. What does basketball mean here in Indiana? Everything. And no one knows that more than Indiana women's basketball head coach, Terry Morin. The word work has, has been really, truly how we've built this thing. That work is paying off. All of a sudden now, there's something going on at, in Bloomington with Indiana women's basketball. They on their feet here in Assembly Hall. From families to students. So much excitement. People talk about going to women's games just as much as they talk about going to men's games now. But I'm so glad that women are finally getting the attention that they deserve. The women are here making shots and making headlines. One of our goals was when people talk about Indiana basketball, it wasn't just going to be uh, men's basketball. National championships, but there's also this terrific women's basketball program. 28 wins this season. The Big Ten champions and a number one seed in the NCAA tournament, one of many firsts in the program's history, accomplished this year. He sold out Assembly Hall. What did that feel like? Something I never thought we could do. My experience has only been, oh, I, this line is for men's basketball. Well, you know, when I drove up on that Sunday afternoon to play Purdue and that line is down the side, you know, sidewalk, it's just one of those, again, incredible moments where you're like, Wow, I mean, we're, we're doing something really special here. 17,222 seats filled with fans to see women play ball. What do you think that means for those young girls watching yeah. to see well, that? That anything is possible. And Warren is proof. This year she became the all-time winningest coach in IU women's basketball history and was named the Big Ten Coach of the Year. That young girl was me growing up, right, watching men's basketball. And, um, and so now you fast forward to what we've been able to accomplish, and it's like, oh, wow. Morin grew up just about 45 minutes away in Seymour. We grew up Indiana fans. Turn on the TV, Martha the Mop Lady came out and then got us excited about uh, watching Indiana men's basketball. Back then, the women's program wasn't even talked about. Morin went on to play for Purdue, coached at other schools in the state, but was always rooted here with family. The Morin family is all in. There's no doubt. You know, my father is 88 years old, and he sits on the baseline of every game uh, and has plenty to say. With his help, over the last nine years, she's reshaped the program and how Hoosiers think of Indiana basketball. We've gained a lot of fans because of what we've been able to do here. Speaking of Seymour, I think of John Mellencamp. You should. <laughs> <laughs> His music, kind of like your motto, yes. or like I know you came yeah. out to. Yeah, I call uh, every Hoosier stereo. Uh, I always come out to a Malikamp song. Now my next goal is to try to get him to actually come to Hoosier stereo, and I'll walk out while he is singing one of my favorites. <laughs> Dare to dream, but there's still more important work to be done. You know, as a female coach, um, it's it's part of my responsibility always to tell our story. In November, Morin spoke out after the team took a trip to a tournament that had the top-ranked Hoosiers playing in conditions a men's team would never face. And that came after unequal conditions at the 2021 NCAA tournament turned heads. At least we're talking about it, right? And I think that's that's been the, the first big step. The next big step? Uh, the goal of winning the national championship. And I'm a firm believer that you have to talk about those things if you want them to, to happen. While making shots and winning games matters, what's most important to Morin is making sure these women know they matter. Keep writing our own story, right? You know, you just hope that you're, you're impacting them every single day, inspiring them, not convincing, but also making sure that they realize that they can, they can do anything. And Morin is their example. But this is their favorite. I'm always like, is the hallway's your favorite? Steps from the practice court. And I think part of it is, yeah, the candy stripes. This walk still yeah, seems just, surreal. You know, I just was walking, you know, on the floor and just, um, it dawned on me that, like, this is, I'm, he, I'm the head coach, you know, at Indiana. 
Uh, now the goal becomes to, to try to get one of those. Um, another banner on the wall. Another banner on the wall. National champions. A lot of emotions in our locker room right now. Not this year. But perhaps they want something even better. Opportunity for those young girls that are sitting up in those seats right now to have the dream of one day playing, you know, for Indiana. And they can? They can. Proving girls can fight for the Freeman Crimson, for the glory of old IU, and for their dreams. To be able to, you know, sit here at Indiana and be the head coach of a Big Ten team, uh, in the state that I grew up with, I mean, dreams, yeah, no doubt come true. And Morin says it's one thing to build the program. Now the challenge will be to sustain it. She does think, though, the NIL has really helped these players build their own flat platforms and lift women's basketball as a whole entirely. What an amazing experience you had meeting her. She's so inspirational. And I think for me, um, being an athlete, just the epitome of a coach. You mm -hmm. know, you want a coach, you want a leader, you want a champion for you and somebody who you respect and she just seems to really encompass all of that. Yeah, and she said she really knows she's competitive, but she knows when to push these players and then when to be there for them mm -hmm. on both aspects. And um, she's It's a just, really fine line to walk. Yes, it is. And she's just fantastic and obviously sad how the season ended in yeah. the tournament, but looking on to next year. Awesome story, Hannah. Thank Thanks. you.